Xie guys, welcome back to Absolute Football and we are back with a CAF Champions League quarterfinal match analysis between Sundowns and the club of the century Al Ashley. The son of the soil came with a result based approach into this tie. He let Sundowns have all the possession in both legs, 54% in Cairo to 69% in Pretoria. The dominance only counted to one big chance created in the second leg and none in the first leg. Look at the play areas dominated. The central zone and the Al Akhli half saw majority of the traffic. The Egyptians were so compact, they were okay with sundowns on the flanks. No easy passage through the Red Sea. Sundowns set up in their custom 4-3-3 formation and would build with the three with Rivaldo and the two center backs, while Al Akhli is set up in a 4-1-4-1 formation. But before we dissect, our pizza's Red Army marched on to the semi-finals. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to Absolute Football. The compactness of the Al Akhli structure forced Sundowns to go wide in search of either Modiba or Morena. They would receive in the wide channels and look to progress the ball on the wings. But the Al Akhli fullbacks were up to the task on 1v1 situations. Al Akhli were so confident that they would cope with the crosses from Sundowns, which is why they made it difficult for Morena or Modiba to find progressive options. They would be left with no choice but to play it backwards to Libusa and Nascimento. The 4-1 setup from Al Akhli made it difficult for Serino or Zwane to receive the ball between the lines. The man screening would pounce on any attempted pass in between the lines. In instances where Zwane or Sirino would receive between the lines, Al Akhli would crowd and box them in to dispossess them. This was an area of danger where Al Akhli didn't want to see any yellow shirts on the ball. Sundowns looked to go for a mixed zonal and man marking approach for their corners. They had Zwane on the post, Serino and Modiba to prevent the short corner and Kutsia to protect against the front post runs and Morena at the edge of the box on a man marking job. The rest are zonal, waiting for the al runners into their zones. Unfortunately, none of these runners are blocked into the zones and they are left unmarked at the far post for al -Akhli to find the early lead. al Ashley appeared to be deploying a man-marking approach on defending corners. They conceded the goal as a result of a man losing their marker in the box to concede the equalizer. al Ashley attacked the spaces left by the two Sundowns fullbacks when possession was turned over. The home side really had little defensive duties on the day to be honest, but they had to defend at some point and they were quick to step out of, the de of their defensive line and force al Ashley into errors. The son of the soil sent his three sundown successes packing and booked a spot in the semis to face Esperance. No promised land for sundowns as they fail to make the same as yet again. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Till next time. Cheers. <laughs>